Hello and welcome to I Want to Be the Guy, the movie, the game. There's probably two crowds in the audience right now. Half of you are probably like, what the heck is on my screen right now? And I will explain in just a minute. The other half of you are like, oh boy, this is about to happen. You guys know what I am in for. I am holding the wrong controller. Let me prick up the proper one. There we go. All right, guys, let's get into things, and let me explain exactly what I want to be the guy is. I also need some of my controls. I'm very professional. Let's go with controls. All right, that should be good. So basically what this is, is a very difficult platformer, and it was a, it's basically a game from a website. It's not a game you can play on a console or anything. Now, this game is known for being very difficult, very trolly, and very frustrating. I am going to die a lot. You die in one hit. Uh, this right here, I didn't actually really play much. Um, I was just testing out the recording, so that's fine. We're going to start a new file right here, though, and I'm going to be playing on a hard. There's medium, hard, very hard, and impossible. And basically all that does is control how many save points there are, so I'm going to go with hard. There's no reason to play any harder than that, unless you just really want to torture yourself, I guess. And let's go ahead and start a new game. So, in this game, similar to Mega Man, which we just played, you jump, and you shoot. You can move left and right. In this game, though, we have a double jump. The difference between this and Mega Man is we only can take one hit and we're dead. So I have played this game before. This game is best done blind, so I didn't actually practice it. But I have played it before, so I know a little bit about the game. Um, but I haven't played it in years. Probably, well, I'm dead. It's probably been like four or five years since I've played it, so this is going to probably look kind of smooth at first, but it's going to go south really fast. So, ah, uh, man. I don't even know what to say. We just got to dodge some cherries here. I think if we jump over them, maybe we can get them to go down. Come on. Get out of here, cherries. There we go. Or apples, whatever they are. I think they're cherries. Are these going to cooperate with me? Yes. Okay. Which ones are going to draw? Oh, dang it. Oh. Okay. We're making some progress here. I'm just not sure which apples are going to drop next. Okay, we're good. We're good. Is that one going to go up or down? I think that one's going to go up. Oh, one second. Go up there. There you go, buddy. All right, I think these apples are going to start flying at us, or cherries, whatever. Ugh. Okay, we're going to make it. Don't get hit by that. Don't go up. Don't you dare. Okay, it went down. Sick. So I just got to get over there to get the save point. That's going to be the first save point of this crud. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Attempt number two at this screen. Let's go this time, not actually get killed by that. Ugh. Oh, almost at it. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. The early stuff, really not that bad. I just got to get a, a get a feel for the game again. Ah, crud. If any of you guys have seen this type of game before, maybe you've seen uh, or heard of I Want to Be the Boshi. This one is the original. This one is by far easier than some of the other ones, but compared to anything you would play on a Xbox or whatever, anything on a home console or most stuff on Steam, this stuff is way more difficult than that. So while it might not be difficult in the grand scheme of this type of game, compared to anything you're used to, this crud is ridiculous. Come on! Got it! Get up there. Oh yeah! I knew that crow was coming. Oh my gosh, my dog's going crazy. But we actually have to ride this thing back up. So I do know a little bit about the game. Thankfully I can dodge a couple of the trolls, but most of it, not gonna go so well. Gosh dang it. Just gotta slowly ride this thing up and hope we can dodge some spikes. Please don't kill me again. No! <sighs> okay. Oh jeez, I need to go slower. Now I'm sure this all comes in completely stark contrast to Mega Man, where I actually knew what I was doing. But I figured this kind of game is going to be better done blind. It kind of defeats the purpose if I go in knowing what I'm doing, so... I think, while this might be raging and frustrating, I just wanted to do it this way. Why did I do this? Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm so impatient. I need to be impatient. Get up there. Yes. Yes! Oh, it made it! Gosh dang it! Okay, don't get trolled by the lightning. Good. Okay, let's wait for that thing to come back. Let's be patient. I am actually playing this on a Wii U um, Pro Controller right now, and the way things work out, I can't actually use the D-pad. I was really hoping to use the D-pad, but it turns out you can only really use the, uh... Oh, come on, come on. You can only use the... What's your, who's it? The joystick, which kind of sucks. Oh my gosh, the save point's way over there. Can I shoot it? Please tell me I can shoot it. Yes, I can save from here. Sick. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course that would happen. There's going to be a gosh dang falling spike right there. Okay, so we got the save point. We're fine. Just got to dodge the spike. Somehow, it didn't fall. Come on. I just gotta wait for it. I guess I gotta get right underneath it. There we go. That's actually not that bad. Okay, that's falling block. Oh, we made it. Okay, so now we're actually doing all right. How is that easier than the other things? Okay, here we have the first boss, guys. It is. 
Where is he? Where could it possibly be? Oh, he's shaking the stars, making them fall from the firmament. And suddenly... It's Mike Tyson! Of course, from the good old NES Punch-Out. But we're gonna wreck him, guys. Somehow we are gonna wreck Mike Tyson. As long as he doesn't punch me in the face. And just adds up, you can actually skip this cutscene, so we won't have to watch this every time, thank goodness. As you can see, it's a pretty long intro, but that's fine. So the bosses in these games, pretty tough. Let's see what we can do, though. Go ahead, do your thing. I'm just gonna run away here. Okay, I already happen to know we have to shoot him in the face. I can actually reach him. Wait, do we have to, like, dodge his punches first? Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, he does the dirt face, then we shoot him. Oh, yeah, get him! Oh, he is down! I think, like, classic punch out, we gotta knock him down three times. So there's one. Oh, yeah, you're going down, Mike Tyson! Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away! Oh, he got me! Got him down again. You guys might have noticed when he does that one punch, he knocks out some of the blocks. So this is gonna get more difficult as we go along here. Oh, my gosh, he's spazzing. Okay, got him. Come on, second hit. Let's go. Oh, he's down. Just one more and we'll get that TKO. I think the third round is the hardest, though. This is like one of the only bosses I actually remember. Okay. Can I just... I cannot run that easily. Great. Mike Tyson, round three. Let's go. You can't beat me. I'm too powerful. Oh, wow. I actually dodged that. How am I dodging? How am I dodging? Do your thing. Yes. Get him. Is he dead? That was actually not that bad if he's already down. Did we win? I was going to open the door. Yeah, I think we got him for reals, guys. So I probably made that look a lot easier than it actually is, but that's because I I happen to have known how to fight that boss. But the bosses in this game can get pretty crazy. Trust me, they will get way crazier than that. But for beating him, we get this crud. But no save point. Um, I guess we're just going to jump and hope for the best. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're dropping like a meteor into a spike. No, 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 no. No! Give me a minute. Ah. Oh. Mm. Wow. Got him! Wait a second, dude. I think we can actually go back and just hit the save point over here. Does this open? It does. Yeah, let's just hit the save point here, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so we don't have to fight Mike Tyson anymore. He is behind us. Can't believe I did that twice. I know there's like some little stupid puddle we have to drop down into down here, but I just kind of hit the spike. Nope. Gosh, dang it. So I, I think even hitting the ground kills me, so spikes are bad. Wait, no! No, I have to fight him again! Oh my gosh. He's off screen. I can't hit him. He's over there. What the crud? All right, we got him again. Okay, I think we have to jump down here and go to the left. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So let me just go down there. Not going to use my double jump right away. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Oof, boom, right into the water. Now I just have to get through this spike. Please don't troll me! Gosh dang it. Oh, gosh, I'm so hype. I'm so excited to fight Mike Tyson again. Okay, let's get back to the water. This will be fine. Just jump right in there. And I'm not going to get trolled by these stupid spikes. Okay, the water kind of slows me down a bit. Can I get these spikes to move? Got him! Thank you. Please don't. Is that one going <gasps> to... Why did I do that? What the crud? And we're back in the water. Let me not get trolled by the spikes this time. Dude, I was so sure it was going to fly up that I, like, choked. Okay, we got that one. That one's easy. Okay, so this one's not going to move. Thank you! Boom! The save point! Oh my... Wow. Thank you, game. Thank you for that. But we finally got the save point. We can actually move on. Okay, we can't go that way. Great to know. That was actually, like, the first screen in the game right there. Huh. I wonder if you can, like, shortcut to that. But anyways... That is, I guess, nice because we are now done with the first boss. You guys can imagine this game. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. I dodged the gosh dang cherry and I get a lightning bolt instead. Thank you, game. You guys can imagine this game does not exactly mesh very well with the whole Let's Play Curse thing. You know, the, the whole thing that whenever you're doing something on video, you kind of play with the abilities of a two-year-old. Where am I even going? Do I got to get on top of these clouds? Let me just go to the right. I think that's where I have to go. Uh, I guess I'll go up this way. I don't know if anything's going to try to kill me here. Uh, let me just jump across. I'm sure this is all going to be fine. Nothing nothing is going to go wrong. I really have to do this every time. Where does the moon Where does the moon happen? Just go for it. Do your thing, moon. There you go. Okay. No, the stupid cherries. Let me get rid of these. Get rid of them. Thank you. Now let's activate the moon. We just got to jump up there. There it is. Now we run away. Don't get killed by that. No, dang it. I should have got rid of that one, too. Okay, we got rid of that one. Let me get rid of these again. Gosh, dang it. Trigger! 
It won't go! Gosh dang it! I can't do it again. Got it. Got ugh. Hold on, can I just trigger these by jumping across them? No. Oh, I got him! There we go, guys! Now we can finally run away from this moon. Go ahead, trigger it. The blocks! Dude, the blocks were pushing me! Okay, no! I'm gonna keep it real. The moon part, really not actually that difficult. The part that's really hard, the part that's getting me is these dang cherries. I can't trigger them. Like, they're so hard. There we go, got him. So hard to trigger, but we finally got it that time. Sick. So let's go trigger the moon. All you have to do is go up just a little bit there. Not get pushed by the blocks. I can't quite make it up there. There we go, got it. I think we have to go back this way. There's a little gap over here I think we have to hide in. Come on. Please don't kill me! No! Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Can I go this way? I can! Sick! Where's the save point? Dude, there's no save point. Why did I make this stupid decision to play on hard mode? What was wrong with me? Oh, here we go. Okay. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Uh, dang it. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay, let me go back down to here. On the block! Oh my gosh. We can get past this. I be oh, I believe in you, game. Um, <laughs> Link, if you would not stab me, that would be very helpful. I'm not... Okay, there's gotta be something that makes him stab me. What, what triggers you, Link? I think it... Hmm. Huh. I don't know what triggers him. No, it, he just does it. I think if it's if you jump over him, he stabs you. Okay, so we have to double jump to, to dodge him. Uh, can I just... Oh my gosh! Okay, so if you're in the air above him, he just goes for it. So you have to jump and then double jump. So I'm thinking what I have to do here is... Oh, I, th I think I see what to do. I think I see what to do. So we have to go down here. We jump over this. Double jump. Then I think we have to jump, hit our head on the empty spot. And then jump! Got it! Boom! That was not that bad. And I guess now we're in some kind of ghouls and goblins, ghouls and ghosts kind of area, guys. But we made some pretty good progress. We got through a couple of different areas, beat a boss. So you know what, guys? I think we're going to call it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode so far. This game, I think, has six bosses. I can't recall exactly, but... It'll probably be less than a dozen or so episodes, so I'll see you guys next time. Take care.